Welcome to Drawn Out, where we draw for longer. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Will Steven. Guys, Will Steven is joining us. Will is one of the new faces of comedy, as named by the Just for Laughs Festival. Uh, he's a performer at UCB, and he also is on an IFC web series uh, called If I Was In It on the IFC Comedy Crib. And now, uh, the most prestigious moment of his career, he's joining us to record a dumb show for the internet. Will, how's it going? Oh, Caldwell, Nathan, it's just, it's a joy to be here. This is really thrilling uh, to be recording a, uh, a podcast. Yeah, it's great to have you here, man. A cross-country podcast. Yeah, that's cross, right. We, it's the only way. We're recording across this, this great land of ours. Mm -hmm. And what better way to pay tribute to America? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> across all these, all these many states and lakes, great mm -hmm. lakes. All, how many Great Lakes are there? Fourteen. How many are we working with? I mean, they're they're what they're they're a cert, they're those those ones that are actually called the Great Lakes. But I don't you know I don't I don't. There are a lot of Great that. Lakes. There are plenty of lakes that are great. I think it's they frankly, shouldn't feel worse about themselves. Yeah, frankly, I think it's it's pretty bullshit that like those five get like get the nod. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That it's just yeah. like oh yeah, we got Great Lakes and it's, then, it's all politics. I, I think so. I think it is. Yeah, someone, someone's lake's dad knows someone else's, <laughs> you know, someone's senator. And right. They, they got the, the name. I, I, I think if I was, you know, president, if I was like President Obama uh, yeah. and, you know, like my, my term was coming to an end. Something Caldwell thinks about a lot. Time for my classic segment, if I was President Obama. <laughs> Number one, I'd be banging uh, Mrs. Obama on the ray. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. We're getting a little bit of that. Uh -oh. ooh. And I would not ooh, I would not be eating healthy, if you know what I mean. Don't go there. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Well, I'll explain you're... off mic, Nathan. There's a lot yeah. about the human anatomy that... Right. Cause she, you no, know, but she's I don't a... understand why you're saying that's not healthy. She's a health food nut. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is healthy? Let's... You know, <laughs> are, you, let's... are you sex positive? I mean, that's uh, kind of the ultimate question. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm sex positive. I'm sex negative. I'm like a sex magnet over here, man. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> North, Which makes south. you sexually charged. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steven, just like ready with the zingers. I love it. You know? So let me let me uh, back up two steps uh, before any of the goofs. Uh, a land before goofs. Um, we. I'm gonna explain what we're doing. So we're, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm drawing a little portrait of you. You're one of the new faces of comedy. Uh, and I think a new face deserves a new a new portrait, a new caricature. Oh gosh! Oh, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm drawing one of you real quick, uh, just like you might get at a pier at a boardwalk. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but well, let me let me back. Do I still have to pay eighteen dollars. You do. Uh, it's gonna yeah, cost I'll, you. I'll collect it uh, at the end. Okay, if you could just Venmo me yeah, that, I'll, eight, I'm that gonna eighteen. Venmo, well, you Venmo me, and then I'll Venmo Caldwell. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then you know, that, well, I think that's well, the best system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems like the, the most direct. Wait, so anyway, no. I want to get back to what I would do if I was President Obama. Okay, sure. Um, here's what I would do: is I would just like go on a, a rampage, naming new new Great Lakes. Uh, <laughs> just, just in your final your final term, just like yeah. you know what? Fuck you are it. you are you are the reason Republicans don't want big government. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, that kind so of I mean, waste of time and, uh -huh. and resources. Bureau bureaucracy is like, hey, just, I don't, you know what? Leave it a river. Doesn't need to be a lake. Right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> wait. Are you naming rivers lakes? I, that is, I was getting to that. You're that is heresy. what I would do. You can't even, those are <laughs> completely different types of uh, bodies of water. Listen, the founding fathers <laughs> didn't know what a lake was or what a river was when they founding made the Constitution. Were they were idiots. <laughs> Hot take. Founding fathers. <laughs> Did real, no shit. Real stupid. <laughs> they shat in holes. <laughs> they did. They shat in holes. Their they didn't teeth know about toilets. Their teeth were made of like <laughs> wood or gold or something. Yeah, I, I think it was either diamonds or like. I think their teeth were made of secrets. Wow. Whoa. Intangible. Their teeth were. Made their of teeth were made of secrets. <laughs> of, of, they, yeah, their teeth were made of. Uh, well, they were made of wooden secrets. <laughs> wooden secrets. You know. The most flammable type of secret. Now, I have mm -hmm. to say, it's fascinating watching someone draw my face because yeah. I imagine this is what God did when I was in the womb. <laughs> I would say so. Paint me bit by bit and then erase uh -huh. a little bit and then redraw. Be like, no, that's bad. Yeah, well, because what he had Which, to... by the way, from me saying that, I hope you can conclude that I am pro-life. Because <laughs> God 
does do this to every little fetus. Right. Right. He draws what they're going to look like in their in their mid twenties. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going yeah, exactly face, at the then, peak of their life, and then like goes through like one of those de aging filters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's, 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 got, <laughs> he's got an app. He's got an app for that. <laughs> And that's how every perfect child of God is made. Uh huh. <laughs> You're trying to be very smarmy already. Yeah. Well, you know, this. I'm picturing you giving like a. Uh, this is your Twitter profile that you've used to harass women online with. Oh great. <laughs> I do have another account. <laughs> yeah. Once for every jokes, day. It's once called for Every just... Day America. And I make that your... face with every tweet. <laughs> If Youth the tweet pastor. doesn't make you make that face while you're thinking it, it doesn't get tweeted. Will, what is the what is the name of your second account? Uh, douche nozzle. <laughs> that doesn't sound very Christian. No, I must it's not. say. <laughs> but are you? Is it like what, what's your bio for that account? Uh, patriot, <laughs> son, brother, slut shamer. <laughs> Just calling it out. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I like. You know, I hate it when like you go to a, one of those accounts and it's just like I, I like I like it when they're more upfront about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. You're you're also this. I I have to say. Yeah. Maybe I have body dysmorphia here, but you are. Yeah. I'm looking far more uh, ma- like masculine than I. Well, I'm trying myself. to. Well, I mean, you're being a little flattering. I'm trying to do you a goddamn favor here. <laughs> you're really not helping me out. There's, Sorry. There's, I'll stop calling out how much better you're making me look. Well, there's also the thing. What Caldwell does whenever he draws mm-hmm. is he he draws everyone's chins bigger because yeah. he he has a big chin he has a big chin and so I think he just when he was whatever part of his muscle mm-hmm. memory that like when he was learning to draw faces mm-hmm. you know you you draw your own face and you draw everyone sort of like you yeah so you, you're getting these sort of Caldwellified versions of, I will uh, say yeah it, people it's with just like big faces mm-hmm. and real real fun smirks. Caldwell's it's a little a, bit of that. Smirker um, as well. It's and that is like you know that's when I was uh, when God was forming we, me in the womb. Uh, he kind of like you know it's kind of like when you're you're like playing one of those uh, wrestling video games or The Sims and you're like, how can I just fuck this up in a way that like isn't weird but like will make people a little concerned. Right. And that's what like God did with my face. You mean like the the character creator. <laughs> Part of the yeah, like a character game. creator. So mm-hmm. really, really, any video game where you can create a character. Yeah, you, you but it's just, like you it, went you went straight to wrestling video games and The Sims. I think that wrestling video games have like the best, the most robust character creators. Like you can, you know, you see a lot of screenshots online of people creating like a Doctor Zoidberg or like a, um, you know, like and, and you can basically make anything in those. I, I think they're, you know, like in a Mass Effect, you can just make like somebody with like a fucked up, a fucked up face and red hair. Sure. Uh, the red hair being the, the most absolute crazy thing you can make in a video game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think that the wrestling video games are like, you know, you could make someone who had like a two foot chin in that game. There's no rules. No rules. Much like the, uh, you know, mu- much like, uh, uh, the wolf pack or the NWO <laughs> mm. <laughs> or any of the other, or, uh, I know a lot about wrestling. Uh, Outback, uh, Steakhouse. Yes. The, the famous wrestler Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outback. <laughs> oh, he's bringing out the Bloomin' Onion, folks. Yeah. <laughs> His signature move, the Bloomin' Onion. Oh, the Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> that is where he, like, he le- legitimately oh brings God. out a scalding hot Bloomin' Onion. And just, <laughs> it's, it's very literal. <laughs> it just destroys his opponent's face. So, uh, how, how we how we looking here, Will? What are we thinking? I think it's evolved. I think, yeah, I think we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, think, is it too, is it not flattering enough yet? Should I increase the flatter? Nothing is going to be flattering enough. Okay. <laughs> but, um, no, I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, cool. That looks like Will. That does look like Will. All right. <laughs> We're getting confirmation. I, <laughs> looks kind of like Will. Looks kind of right. like Will. Uh, well, I'm going to – let me – you know what? I'm, I'm liking this. I'm going to add just like a little bit of a – Yeah, I think that looks a little – that's – yeah, it's starting to get there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like looking – I want it to be like looking in a mirror is what I'm saying here. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want – I want you to – I want you to see this, and I want you to like go home – and just like forcefully break all of the mirrors in your house, and just put that up. Yeah, and be like, I don't need mirrors anymore. Uh, and your roommates are like, Hey, we need mirrors because we don't have. <laughs> and I'll be like, Well, then you can leave. Well, you can like, Hey, I got. Let me give you someone's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be my phone number. 
uh, and I'll and I'll draw portraits of them, and that is how I'll make my money from now on. Perfect. I won't need to. I won't need to do like all the bullshit I do to get by. I'll just be able to like draw your friends' portraits. Now, is this? Are you <laughs> shading now? What's happening right now? Yeah, I'm giving it just like a little bit. You know, I want a lot of the the details on your face. You know, like are really gonna come through when I give it this little definition. Mm. Just a little. You know, I, I just need, you need to be a little more defined as a person. Sure. <laughs> this I'm is a aware. critique. I'm aware. Of it's you. Like, anytime I'm not mm -hmm. in dramatic lighting, yeah. I, I sort of lose track of who I am. <laughs> right. As a person. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, Nathan can only be seen under certain, under, like, you know, very high powered kinos. Yes. Uh, <laughs> under no, state, no under gels, theater gels. No gels for me. <laughs> Nathan is invisible under red lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I just completely disappear. <laughs> <laughs> He's not visible <laughs> under that spectrum. It's a rare condition. Well, I think I'm. I think I'm about done here. Uh, so let's let's move on to our next part, which is where we add. You know, we got out of body. We got to fill this out a little yeah. bit. So I think that, to me, uh, I think the direction we're heading in is. You know, like we should be drawing uh, your your alternate Twitter profile. Sure. Douche nozzle. Was that what you said? Oh yeah, douche nozzle. Douche nozzle. What's your like? So that's your at douche nozzle. But what's the name attached to it? Uh. So it should be something that's similar to my name, right? It's if it's my yeah, but I think it should be like kind of like a dirtbag version of your name. Uh, yeah, sure. So it'd be like um, like Billy Steves. Uh, yeah, yeah. Billy Steves. I think that's Billy. Good. Oh man, yeah. This is like this is totally. If you were like a one of those like uh, Twitter accounts that steals like you know that, that profits off of other people's jokes and stuff. You know, oh, like, one of those. Yeah, so one, one of those. I like love a that fat, that's like a common enough thing now that it's yeah, just a like type just, of Twitter account. You know, those you know those Twitter accounts that make money off of other people's content. Sure. Um, Nate, do you have that picture coming through? Is that coming through for you? Yeah. All right, cool. You want to you want to go ahead and take a take a stab oh, at that? Oh, am, I, I think, am I drawing the body? Okay. Of course, that's how this works. Here we go. Okay. That's how I've just decided this works. That's how you've just decided this works. Okay, so I'm going to need to make the head a little smaller. I resent that. Because I think that I need. I wish I could make my head a little smaller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that being. That's like a thing about uh, like you're a celebrity, but like your head. It's like how Tom Cruise is super small. Like you're just a celebrity, but like you have to like angle in whenever you take a picture because your head is <laughs> way too small. It, it also, my head is actually gigantic, <laughs> and it has been my whole life. And I, I. <laughs> Like hats never fit me growing up. <laughs> it's like a fun. It's like a fun. I just want to like start that rumor. It's like, do you know that Matt Damon's head is three feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> but in Matt all seriousness, <laughs> I do have a gigantic head. So like, <laughs> and, and no one believes me until yeah. I like try to put on a, uh, uh, like a hat or something, and then right, it's bad. That's so. That's like your Cinderella effect. It's I, like, I suppose so. Well, yeah. he, he'd be it's the, like he'd there's be only one, the one dude the in this town who, uh, yeah. who, who their feet are too big. Right. right? Well, so it'd be like your stepbrothers all have this hat that looks great on them, um, and they all roll up to the ball wearing this real great hat. And then I guess like Princess Charming in this situation sees you. See, like everyone's wearing a hat at this party. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like a sex party. It's sure. Like a, it's like a fun hat party. And you're the only person not wearing a hat. Um, and then, like, so that's how, like, they find you the next day. Is like, you're the only person that can't wear the hat. That I makes think. sense. That makes and that's how you, sense. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, this is the new, this is my new, um, this is the new hit children's story that we're going to be drawing right now is um, uh, the, you know, it, it's called Douche Nozzle. And the, uh, <laughs> douche Nozzle and the. <laughs> douche Nozzle and the, uh, and the hat that wouldn't fit. Perfect. Now, mm -hmm. am I, now I'm. I, Am I wearing like? Is this like a Robin Hood? Oh no, I, I get it. I have a popped collar. It's a. That's my. Oh wow, yeah. A, a God, you really collar. do look like a douche nozzle. Yeah. Uh, how do I? How do you draw a popped collar? Like, it, yeah. It it could yeah. be. It could also be like a Dracula mm -hmm. cape, the way I've drawn it. I uh, think that's like what but, everyone or like that wears a, a popped collar. Hood vest or yeah. something. Oh yeah. A doublet. He he steals he steals jokes from the. <laughs> <laughs> from yes. The, from the comedians, yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna. You, you're wearing a pop collar, but you also have a doublet. Oh right wow! Underneath. Oh wow! No, he's got like one of those vests that like somebody on a '90s sitcom would wear. <laughs> That's his look. I do like to think that everyone that wears a pop collar thinks that this is what they look like. They think like, yeah, I kind of look like you know Robin Hood or uh, like you know a cool Dracula. 
Yeah, this is a terrible look for me. Uh huh. Well, it's a terrible look for you, Will Steven, but for Billy Steve, Billy Steve aka right Douche Nozzle, uh, famed content thief, <laughs> famed content aggregator. Right, uh, an aggregator. You're right. I'm so sorry. Please get it right. So, yeah. So like, <laughs> so like, what's your yeah? Like, what, what kind of, what kind of, uh, what 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 can people expect from Ju- Douche Nozzle in the future? Like, what, uh, what, are you, what projects are you working on? Uh, I'm the current project I'm working on is looking through Rob Delaney's Twitter account. Uh huh. And kind of so, copying and pasting. Oh wow! Yeah, well, he's um, just like he's a good one to steal from. He's yeah. I'm he's, also thinking mm-hmm. about heard, learning I've how to Photoshop so I can uh, take people's images. Oh, and like uh, remove a watermark, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the only tool I'm interested in using. Maybe that's a crop smart. Tool. I oh, and I'm just I'm actually I'm looking on Twitter right now. I'm just checking through your tweets, douche nozzle, and it looks like oh, you just got um, you just got a TV deal. Is yeah, right? I just got uh, I just got Jimmy Fallon's job. What? <laughs> he's he's been you're, hired. You're the new you're the new Jimmy Fallon. I'm the new Jimmy Fallon. That's impressive. Yep. Uh, what's what's he gonna be doing? Uh, I don't know. I'm just taking his job, so I don't know. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. Does he know that you're taking his job, or are you just going to kind of, like, s- aggregate that in the way that you've aggregated he, content? He probably does not know. Okay. Um, but I will be there on Monday. <laughs> you're just going to sit at the desk. And I'm going to do the show. <laughs> I guess, like, yeah, you're like, he maybe he shows up and is like, uh, what are you doing? This is my desk. And you're like, mm, sorry, saw this desk on a blog. It's kind of mine now. It's kind like, of mine. You know, sorry, just... you don't have any ownership over anything you've ever done. It's kind of like, I don't know, just like, chill out, dude. It's the internet. Right. And he'll be like, it's live TV. And you'll be like, well, you know, I saw it on the internet. What do you think would happen if one of these guys, if mm-hmm. their their aggregated Twitter account was literally yeah. just copied by somebody? Like, and every single post or, or every single Instagram post or whatever was posted by another account that got just as popular. Do you think that they would try to take legal action or try to shut that account down? Absolutely. I think it's what would happen. Yeah, like, you mean if, like, if like a, t- a fat Jew or, like, a fuck Jerry, if, like, somebody just wholesale, like, stole everything from them? Yes, like, every, again? Post, every post that they post gets posted again on another account a minute later. Oh, man. And that, like- account, and that account gets... Four million followers. But at a certain point, isn't it just like the notoriety? Like people know to go to this place. So I don't know, like, what you would have to do. Oh, you know what you'd have to do? Like, since if they're famous on like an Instagram or a Twitter, you got to take it one step further. You got to become like Facebook famous and like basically take everything that they're stealing and steal it again, yes. but in an even shittier way. Sure. Like, decrease the image quality by like 50%. Yes. Add like a lot of like, you know, text and like some minions on that. Just make it like... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta add some minions. Make it really mom friendly. And and mm. does... Yeah, Call so, yourself the funny Jew. Uh, the funny Jew, got it. Uh-huh. Um, the happy Jew. And then and then does the fat Jew... Do, the fat Jew takes action, right? I think so. I think at that point, like, they have no choice. They, you've... You've called the, like you're basically like calling their bluff, right? And then like I don't know, maybe they stalemate each other, or maybe like you know the reality of this is now I think then you just have like it's kind of like when you try and like get rid of snakes by bringing in a bigger animal or something <laughs> like that, you just end up with two problems, right? I, now is this a douchey Twitter bird? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, yeah, this is your ma- this, this is your this mascot, is your, I guess. It's it's your spirit animal. Oh yeah. It's just God a, yeah, this really. This you looks know, it, so so much like a an actual Twitter profile. Tweets are my own. <laughs> <laughs> Business inquiries at <laughs> douche nozzle at hotmail dot com. Oh, or it would be it would be like business at the douche nozzle dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you sprung for the URL. The you know, I like how um you didn't have to do much to my face to look me, make me look like a douche. No, I think it was like it's it's been there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's face has the potential to yeah. to be douchey. You know, you just gotta, yeah. just gotta Will, really the smirk douche, it up. The douche uh, was in you all along. Somebody one time, I, I believe, tried to post me on Reddit's punchable faces. Oh, oh nice. wow. <laughs> yeah. um, did you get some traction? No, I didn't. Did you get? Which was nice. It got downvoted a lot. People said, on, no way. Yeah, it was people moved the, it over to people moved that over to our uh, like wood kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were <laughs> like, you, get the, get this out of get this out of punchable faces. Move this right over to our wood kiss. Yeah, I just remember somebody commented on something I wrote on Reddit. Mm-hmm. This guy should be on punchable faces, and then it got <laughs> downvoted a bunch. And I was like, thank you, internet. 
Oh, nice. Wow. That's like the internet actually the internet actually worked in your favor that yeah. day. Coming to your aid. Yeah. So I think I think this is looking pretty good. Yeah, uh, I'm just, I, I I'm think just it's fi- time. I'm just fiddling with it. Uh, yeah, at yeah. The moment, but yeah. Do do we want to move on to? I would say uh, I think you know our our next step here is to uh, you know I wanna I wanna bring the audience in on this. I want oh, sure. everyone else to have a chance to you know like get their get their chance their 15 minutes with with douche nozzle yeah. to stand to stand in the limelight with him at Bud Lights whatever USA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eat electric dance music festival. Now, if I hosting. were douche nozzle, we would get paid like eight thousand dollars for just mentioning that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe maybe you should have a product that you're shilling. Yeah. That should be maybe that's what we should draw next. We, okay. Yeah. Do a you, real product. Do you want me to? Yeah. Do you want me to pass it back to you for that, Caldwell? Yeah. I'll, I'll draw. Um, I'm gonna draw the product that you're shilling. Hold on, Nate. Well, let me let me shut my my version of this down real quick. Okay. All right. All right. I, cool. I can give you. Uh, some ideas for products if you're if you're I will I would love uh, some ideas for for products that uh, you're that you're shilling that you want to shill skull <laughs> <laughs> the 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 chewing tobacco product skull yeah i think that's now, probably pretty fair would you be i think that listen skull is a that's an old man's chaw I think we got to skull. Does skull have some kind of new vape product? Like, are they, oh, man. Are they trying to get Whoa. in? What would Will. be the vape version of cha? Are you talking <laughs> like about ele- electric, <laughs> like chewable sour. vapor? It would be like sour. All right, hold on. Sour so this skull. Is, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this in a bit while we're, while we discuss this. So it's gonna be douche. Is it spelled? I feel like it's spelled wrong. Uh, like n o z z l. Yeah, I think the o's should be zeros, or at least the one in nozzle, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think both of them were zeros. Yeah. You couldn't get the original han- handle, but that didn't bother you. And then, yeah, I'll add the, the E at the end. Yep. So, at douche nozzle. Uh, should, I, should I check if that's a real? Presented. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should. I'm going to check. Let's, if let's check. Not that it matters, but maybe we'll change it a little bit if it does. Presented by, uh, I'm going to say the douche nozzle con- the douche nozzle show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is like you got got the show. This is what the Jimmy Fallon show is becoming. I'm willing to bet that there isn't a douche nozzle without the e in douche. That feels very specific. Right. So this is the douche nozzle show. Oh, it looks terrible. No, it does not exist. (laughs) Douche nozzle looks. so... (laughs) Wait, are you saying we could get that? Yeah, we could get it. Should I get it? Can you? Yeah, get it right now. Can you do it on a computer? I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I'm get. I'm getting it. This Um, is great. Now, like, people can actually go and they'll be able to see this image. Oh. uh, all right, so the Douche Nozzle Show presented by Skull. Did we come up with a name for the uh, for our vapable <laughs> chewing tobacco yet? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking like vapable it's, chewing tobacco. Ooh. It's like it's a it's a vapor Skull mist. Oh, perfect. Skull. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I gotta do it like mist. <laughs> I, I want to draw it with a Y, but that's the video game. How do I spell like, this? But it needs to be, still be chewing. So, like, school yeah. tooth mist? Uh, or like, or, or mouth mist? M- yeah. Mouth misters? Uh, chompable mist? Are you allowed to have How multiple about Twitter accounts with the same oh! emails? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Will. Guys. give another email if you want. Guys, I got it. I'm already registered. Misters. We need a new email. I can, I can do my other email account. Should I do that? Yeah. Hey, guys, stop... Stop logging into Twitter and check out this great name I came Wait. up with. Yeah, let's see it, Nathan. Skull Misters. misters. Great. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's great because it's like, it's, it's for, a man-centric It's for misters as well. It's for misters. No women. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah hold on. <laughs> because it's just, their, their tagline is just, fuck women. Ugh. And that's the product that you're sponsoring, that sponsors you. I'm going to move that over a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna make the birds uh, smoke. Uh, actually, oh, you should have you should have one in right now. Let me go ahead and just like. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dip in your mouth if that's okay. Sure thing. Yeah, this is your. You got a little pouch going here <laughs> with your Mister in it. What if their slogan was something like, um, ch- uh, like, chew the air? Oh yeah. I'm just trying to think of something. You could, don't, yeah. Don't, how about how about this? Choose this. air. And it's like, I think that fuck women is pretty good. I it, think it that feels... that's a little on the. No- I think we need to yeah. get. I think we need to get like A to see that a little bit of. Like, sure. Um, How about this? Choose air. It's a pun. I think that pun's a little deep. A little too deep. A little too deep. I Choose think, air. Um, also fuck women. 
Uh, oh, real wow. men. Uh huh. Real men chew mist. Oh whoa. <laughs> oh. Is the smoke a middle the finger? The smoke is a middle yeah. finger. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, just just an update. Uh, yeah. Billy Steves, aka Douche Nozzle, has we've we've secured it. Oh, perfect. It is a Twitter. We're account. gonna be monetizing that account very quickly. Oh, oh wait, no, we need to confirm it via oh, email. I can right. do that, but, uh, <laughs> I got that. We, we can maybe leave that for after the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, this all this, this stuff needs to get done now. This is good radio. It's true. Caldwell. We'll forget <laughs> about it. People all right, guys, we gotta we gotta come up with confirms. a slogan. Okay. Please, please help me. This is um, very important. Uh, for. I like real men choose air. Uh, 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 it takes balls. Uh, <laughs> it takes balls. Wait. It takes How about? Balls? Yeah. It eat, doesn't even what about eat, drink, air, or like chew, uh, chew it or lose it. Chew, chew, choose it or lose it. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> fuck chew. Fuck you, chew air. Fucking, fucking chew it. Fucking chew it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Fucking chew this it. Is, uh, this All is right, this is our. None of us made great. it big in the advertising industry. <laughs> not yet. Not until now. Not yet, yeah. Not until this is today. How we get discovered. <laughs> uh huh. So, so we've. I think we we've thoroughly covered uh, your new persona. Mm -hmm. uh, this is who you are. You like you. You're already. You've already been signed by like at least three agencies. I think. Mm -hmm. you, your phone's probably blowing up over there. Mm -hmm. So I think our next step is to uh, do a little fan integration. Uh, I want to I wanna get out there. I want, I want to get you out there. I want to get you on the street. Nate, do you have any suggestions for uh, stuff that we can draw, we can add into this drawing? Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, um, Brave Mushroom suggested draw an awesome fight. An awesome fight. All right. Um, so I guess, oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe this fight is being sponsored by Skull Misters. Sure. So it's the douche nozzle, douche nozzle versus someone else. How's that sound? Oh, okay. All right, let me get this zoomed in a little bit. All right, so it's douche nozzle versus maybe it's like another. Uh, Will, who do you think douche nozzle should be should be uh, my, fighting? My first instinct was something like mm -hmm. creative, like something like um, <laughs> Charlie Chaplin or like the <laughs> or like the Three Stooges or like actual com comedy, like right. something yeah. like uh, one of the most original creators right. in comedy. <laughs> uh huh. I like that. Well, yeah. Would it be at douche nozzle verse, just like the concept of like the comedy <laughs> or creation, like like Leonardo creativity. Da Vinci. Oh yeah, <laughs> Michelangelo, was, Leonardo da Vinci, something like that. Uh, yeah. Do we want it to be? All right, hold on. How about yeah, just verse at Leo da Vinci. At Leo, Leo da Vinci. Leo da Vinci. Uh huh. So now we gotta draw. I'm gonna turn this back over to Nathan. Okay. I, I did so much hard work uh, yeah, yeah. laying out all this text. You did. A, you know what, Caldwell. Uh, your Leo Divini is flawless. Uh, and I think that like what we need to do here is that this is like Leo Da Vinci, but this is like Leo the modern Divini. version. <laughs> this is like the Vine Star version of Leo Leonardo Da Vinci. Okay. So I think that's Will. How does that sound to you? This Pretty is like. Good. All right. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna save this and turn it back over to you. Okay. And if you can just draw, this is great. We got a full like this is like the full event poster. Yeah. For this this showdown between it's like. And and the worst part is like whoever wins we like nobody wins this everyone loses and it sucks art loses art <laughs> yeah. art cre creativity creativity uh, dies just <laughs> we're not bitter I like how skull <laughs> misters is bigger than anything yeah right obviously it's for fucking sure. chew it it's mm. for sure the most important <laughs> thing on here like we we are just I really like to imagine the um the like long business meetings and uh -huh. pitch sessions that resulted in fucking chew it. Yeah. It's like they and they knew going in that it was going to be a problem cuz like, you know, you just can't you can't say fuck in so many markets, but like they they were real hype on it and right. it went through. I mean, do you think that like for like radio play, they have to change it to like friggin' chew it? No, it's probably like burp! like 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 I'm imagining like a record yeah. scratch and then it'd be like fucking chew it. Yeah, it's it's that guy. It's that one radio announcer guy who always sounds like, like he really just doesn't give a fuck, but in a very professional way. <laughs> just like, fucking chew it, you know that oh, yeah, guy? Totally. Yeah. That guy must. I want to make bank, huh? He must. He's kind of like, you know, there there's like three radio announcer guys, and I think he's like the new he's like the bat the new bad boy <laughs> of, of radio commercials. Sure. <laughs>
Because he's always like, Buffalo Wild Wings, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Leave your wife. <laughs> Dor- Doritos. <laughs> oh, man. So this, yeah, is like a real, this? this is a real buff uh, Da Vinci. Oh, yeah. So he's like one of those Vine stars that never wears a shirt? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's still got, oh, he's his, got like, his old-timey like uh, like Renaissance hat, but he's Did wearing it. it. It's got like... I, Nate, I don't know what old-timey Renaissance hats are. I'm, I'm glad that you do. Uh, and I, I trust you enough to not think that you're lying it, and making this up. Looks, they're kind of like bucket hats. They look like a yeah. Yeah, they're like yeah, they're like the bucket hat before the bucket hat. You know, uh, is this like his signature hat that yeah. he wears in all his vids? Yeah, and all he's his wearing vines? it like uh, like sideways though. Mm-hmm. Cause he's, oh, n- uh, absolutely. And then um, he's got, you know, speaking. Vinci's got his like. He's got some shades. What is he working with there? Oh yeah, he's for sure got some shades mm-hmm. uh, because that means I don't have to draw eyes. Right. Does he have like? I'm trying to think of other things that like a vine star. And like, I, I guess what kind of vines is he making? Can he like, have the? Like... Can he have the shuttered shades? Oh, absolutely. The like can... the like Kanye circa 2009. Right. Yeah, but he's he's wearing them unironically. No. no yeah. Exactly. Totally. Now, I want to delve into that a little more. Will um, Kanye like kind of started the shutter shade thing? I guess. But so. like, but he kind of like he like jumped shit from it as he when he kind of realized that it was stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, have, have there been any other trends that Kanye started that like he is like backed off of once he realized he, was, that he started been... out really preppy, you know? Like, yeah. When he was when he started out when the college dropout came out, he was wearing like pink polos and wearing like Louis Vuitton backpacks. Uh huh. And like and then every basketball player started doing that in post show interviews. There was definitely stopped. like a there was definitely a phase where it was mm-hmm. cool to be like preppy, but right. that died out pretty and, quick, I think. And I guess like most recently, it seems like he's been dressing kind of like um, I've heard I've seen people making the joke that he dresses kind of like you know like a character in like an RPG or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of like yeah. a bit like a you know he looks kind of like a um, that's amazing an ad- an adventurer of some yeah, sort. Yeah, so like he wears like leather tunics and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, totally. he, he has chainmail uh-huh. shirts, doesn't he? Yeah, he does wear yeah. chainmail sometimes, and like yeah. Do you think it's and like every pe- and every article of clothing costs like eight thousand dollars or something? Do you think that if he just showed up like wearing a sword belt, like <laughs> would he get in trouble or would it? Is he beyond that? No, like he's if not he just had like all. a f- no, he what? yeah, he would just do that cool thing he does where he like yeah. shrugs. Yeah, he's just like, he's like man, whatever. whatever. Yeah, it he, ain't even yeah. Yeah, he, 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 man, whatever. This is this is jewel encrusted. I can't use this. He definitely. That is so perfect. He really does look like a character in an RPG. That's exactly yeah. what it looks like. I saw him I can't. at the... Because I've seen... I saw him mm, on the last tour at the Barclays Center. Uh, you saw him on the L. On the L. On the L. Riding the L. <laughs> Reading his Kindle. The L train. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he, he really does... Like, he... And he wears... Sometimes he wears the, like, vests. He... I don't know if they're vests. They're, like, um... So you think that uh, Billy Steves is biting his style a little bit? I think Billy Steves accidentally is biting his stuff. Right, yeah, he's got the he's got the preppy and the the doublet. Going. I don't mm-hmm. think Billy Steves would really know, like know or like Kanye West very much. Yeah, Billy Steves. Billy Steves uh, a big EDM guy. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he likes guys out here. There's like every billboard in in this godforsaken city is um is for Paul's a, in a LA EDM. right now, guys. I, case, I live in Los Angeles, in case California. You guys, uh, didn't know. And every billboard in this. Uh, in this in this awful neon desert is uh, is for an EDM act in Las Vegas, Oy. and they all sound like the fakest things in the world. It's amazing. It's all like you know like Gris Taylor, Drip or tick. like yeah Drip Tick or like <laughs> Bane's Reigns, and you're like and they, it's all like beautiful portraits of them like closing their eyes and like feeling the rhythm, and you're like how it th- these are huge billboards for people I've never seen, and I don't think that like I don't think that the people, like, who are in L.A. and, like, work in West Hollywood are, like, super pumped. Maybe they are. Maybe they are super pumped to go to El- to Las Vegas every weekend and check out the hot new acts, like, like while eating. probably a market for that, right? Yeah, like- but, like, I guess so. Uh, it, it just it seems weird that you've got that, but then you've also got, like, Jeff Dunham doing a puppet show. It's, like, <laughs> such a weird overlap of, uh, like, of talent. I'd love a double bill. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, like, that's my new thing, actually, is I'm, like, a, I'm an EDM puppeteer. <laughs> An I make comic. it seem like the puppets are like are, are the it's I have this kind of like dark chorus of puppets that like uh, lets out these infernal beats. 
<laughs> and they kind of like hum along to the music in a different, an awful way. And you bring out lots of different drug-addled puppets throughout the course. Yeah, of the yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like, despite there not being any dialogue, they are still racist. <laughs> He's just got a hat that says "fuck." Yeah, I just love fuck. it. Yeah, <laughs> just fuck. <laughs> I love. Yeah, this. I mean, like this guy looks like a. It actually does look like a Vine Star. Like, I could see that being a thing where he's kind of like, he's kind of got that beefcake look going. Yeah. Uh, he'd probably, like, do vines of him, he does, like, like, destroying extreme, stuff. Extreme painting. Yeah. He, like, he's basically paint. He's basically mm -hmm. like us, but if we had gotten on the, the Vine thing, like, if we just did right. all of our all of our drawfies with, like, the camera mostly on our faces and very yeah. little on the drawing, and then, mm -hmm. like, we were shirtless the whole time. And we did, like, camera tricks. We kind of did with American Drombat Warrior. Uh, mm -hmm. You know that was that was our foray into that. People didn't he, respond to our beautiful bods enough real, for us to continue. Oh, he's so sweaty. He's real. He's real sweaty. Sweatier than me. So what? Yeah. Well, you never sweat. You're cool under pressure because of your skull misters. Oh, right. <laughs> you're you're fucking chewing it up. So is he you were like an iPhone. Yeah, because he, uh -huh. he's 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 vining right now. Got he's it. making right. a burn vine. <laughs> a burn vine. Yeah, he's he's burning you, dude. Oh yeah, he's, right. Because of your he's, beef. He's yeah. He's he's. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you guys are both—you're both in I, on it. I can't you believe know? you guys sold out Madison Square for this event. <laughs> He's trying to make like, the hottest new meme. Every yeah, every um, every teen, every person under age fourteen in America was there. It was crazy. The sad thing like, is that probably would happen. I bet if there was like a yeah. Vine, a Vine uh, like Be, uh, conference or something. Oh yeah, well yeah. I mean, that's what VidCon is, and like I don't know if there's a VineCon specifically, but there are like events like this that have like huge, uh, like huge audiences go to them. Interesting. Uh, it's it's funny. I was reading an article recently about Vine stars, and apparently a bunch of them actually live like on in Vine one... Street. Yeah, they all like that. I guess you know that the whole medium itself is so on the nose that yeah. <laughs> there's really like no need <laughs> to be subtle. But it just seemed like I read that and I was like, no, no please. <laughs> Come yeah, they all on. live in, like, an apartment complex, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. It's like, I think they're, like, trying to film a sitcom around the, the premise of them all living together. Uh, so that that's, you know, that's your internet update real quick. Uh, guys, we've done great work here today. I think they should make a sitcom about uh, aggregators. Oh, wow. Yeah. You just call it Gators. <laughs> gators. <laughs> gators. Chomp. Gator golf. Welcome to the... <laughs> <laughs> Give it a whack. Nothing is Welcome greater than golf with a gator. <laughs> that is a lie. There's at least one thing better. What's that? I I can't I can't I can't think of anything. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I was like, sex? No. No, definitely not. A beautiful chocolate cake? How about a uh -uh. nice skull mister? Yeah, <laughs> almost. It's so fucking close, but like no, golf with gator's better. That's like, again, to bring it back around, and that's you know like that's what the that's what the forefathers of this country s stated. Which there's we, nothing greater. Which we like, already we already established they were they were real yeah. stupid guys. Right, real right to bear dumb. arms. Let's, you know, let's double yeah. down on that. <laughs> States rights, right to bear arms. Nothing is greater than golf with a gator. Those are the tenets. <laughs> Those are the tenets of our country, and they're stupid, but they're that's what we got. And we should just stick to them. You guys, remember in like uh, in middle school in like the two thousand mm -hmm. election, and like everyone thought they were super clever when they when they uh, would say Nader golf. I you know what I don't, I don't but I like that, I that, guarantee that, that might have that just been a thing in my middle school. But that was like a thing. People like who I don't know who thought of it first, but everybody uh -huh. everybody it, it was spread like the, wildfire. We're quite the biting satirists. Oh yeah, <laughs> we we were we were uh, we were ahead of our time for sure. Now did that escalate at all, or was it just it was it just people it saying was just, Nader golf? You know, again, middle school humor uh, mm -hmm. is very much just like oh I thought of a thing. Did you? <laughs> that is or or I heard. I heard someone say a thing. <laughs> that is true. That is how middle school humor works. It's like somebody thought of a thing, and uh, and then like they're cool because they thought of the thing. And then I guess then someone else thinks of another thing. There's really no escalation. Yeah, it's just it's sort true. of you get bored and move on. And then and then you you either you either I mean, think of a they're, thing. They're the tastemakers. They're the ones right. giving uh, giving mm -hmm. the the uh, maybe the, the Billy Steves of the world their power. That's true. Maybe we should like. Take a take a page from the middle schooler book, and make simple jokes based on puns, and also uh, make fun of people that we think may be masturbated in the bathroom. 
I think you that's know, like those are going to be yeah, the two people that we think maybe did that. I think it's safe. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that mm-hmm. douche nozzle does a fair amount of that. Yeah, like call outs. Yeah, oh, yeah. or Let's... masturbating in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but sure. He, but he calls out other people to, right. so as to deflect uh, scrutiny. I think that's got to be, like, that's our new, our new steez is going to be, like, middle school call-outs. Like, just be like, hey, uh, Jonathan Rhoda, we know that you, that we <laughs> know that you person, had sex with two is mattresses. Is person you went to middle school with? It, it's two people's names put together Jonathan to protect Rhoda. the innocent. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> you're, what you're doing is you're gating identities. You're aggregating identities. Exactly, I love it. I love. I aggregate everything. Maybe what I do is I go. Future. I go to a, the store and I buy like five different foods. I mash them all together. I make a mashup. <laughs> make a mashup of food. I get a yeah. I get like a you know a frozen birthday cake. I get hot dogs uh, and I get you know like a forty-two ounce fillet and I just shove them all together. <laughs> and that's you know it's it's new, it's mashup culture. It's internet. It's two point It's like really good, uh, and people are vibing on it. And it's very social. It's such good vibes. Mm-hmm. It's really good vibes. You know what else is good vibes? What's that? This event. This, this event. The vibes I'm getting from all the skull misters in my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it goes fight, in what solid. Does their fight look like? Are they are they like internet off? It's or? really boring. It's, it's really so boring. boring. <laughs> it's it's like there's they put so much time into hyping it <laughs> mm-hmm. that like no one actually programmed an event. Right. Like <laughs> it's well, I think it's just like. It's just the, them two in like a boxing in an octagon, just like sitting on their phones. Oh, cool! Uh, and it's then like, there's like a yeah. big screen showing like the disses in real time. Uh, and then so like one, and then you try and and then you sing your original <laughs> rap song that you wrote, and no one likes it. Because I'm also because because the thing about Douche Nozzle and Billy Steve yeah. is that he really wants to be like a Chet Hayes kind of rapper. Yeah, he wants to be a performer. Yeah, he wants to be a controversial performer. But he directs but he's stuck his, in this. He directs his self-loathing out on the internet. Right. I'm very excited to check out his new web series. Yeah. Um, yeah, Fuck Couch. <laughs> Fuck Couch. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's, oh, he's got a, oh, he's got a little paintbrush tattoo. That's yeah. artsy. That's deep. That shows, yeah, that shows that Leo da Vinci has, like, a, a, a deeper side to him. I like that. I think that Leo da Vinci's going to sweep this, honestly. He's just got more raw talent. I mean, that's what you're supposed to think. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, obviously, the, the school misters has to back their, uh, that's cat. true. They got to back their boy. Their boy. Well, we want to hear. We want to hear who you guys think is going to win at Douche Nozzle or at Leo Davini. Everyone, go follow at Douche Nozzle <laughs> yeah, on Twitter, everyone. please, please. Yeah, <laughs> guys. Uh, I think that's about all the time. All we have time for today. Yeah, I think uh, I, that's all we have room for. For sure. Absolutely, we filled a canvas. On this canvas, so that, much like Leo Davini might. Yeah, just no, uh, we, uh, no context for this. This is just what the album art's going to be. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Hey, Will, thank you so much for, for joining us on the show. Is there anything that you want people to check out on the internet? I'd love to, people to check out my Twitter account, Douche Nozzle, <laughs> okay. where the real me comes out. Uh-huh. Uh, it's Will Steven Unleashed. No, that's about it. Cool. Well, uh, again, thanks for joining us. Thanks if you have uh, No worries. If you have suggestions for what you'd like us to, to draw next time with our next guest, or people you want to see on the show, uh, things like that, things of that nature, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, and we will see you next time. Uh, thanks again for, for watching us. And as always, we're very, we're very sorry. Sorry. Hey, it was, it was nice. We did it at the same time. We did. I'm, I'm sorrier, though. Okay. <laughs>